might just be play a Doctor Boom on board. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Yeah, from Monty's uh, perspective, I I agree with you. Yeah. But yeah. I mean that that leaves him dead, but he doesn't know that. Yeah, it yeah, exactly. We, we already seen one Tinker Royal from Firebat. Oh. I, I like this from, uh, this from Martin playing it safe. Yeah, because he has to expect that he, he knows that Rogue can do a lot of damage in one turn. With yeah, late for uh, Especially when uh, you know uh, he just plays his big game hunter as one of his threats, and we've seen like a lot of creatures at this point, so we know there's yeah. uh, Rogue doesn't play all that many creatures, so I think uh, I think the play from Martin is really valid there. Yeah, I agree. So from Firebat now, Eviscerate just even more damage. Uh, and I think he's like very very close to lethal. I think that one more mana and it would actually have lethal here. Um, but uh, not quite, not quite this turn. So he has to decide what he has to do, if he just mm. wants to push for the damage or... Now when you see he's played uh, Big Game Hunter, uh, would you mind just going for the damage here and using Blade Fury? Taking him down to low HP? I I don't think I do. Like you you can't uh, you don't have an answer to combo anyway, right? Yeah. So looks like he's doing it though. I I it, it goes sort of flurry. I like yeah. this play. Yeah, that's what I was talking but about. Both keepers are used too. Yeah, and the big hunter. So yeah, this was uh, what I was talking about. Putting into low HP. And this is a classic case of Twitch chat lethal, but <laughs> actually Firebat, uh, even though he played a non combo, the Viserate couldn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, on exactly. That um, One man off lethal, right? Yeah, exactly. So, now we see Martin. He, his only defensive play is really to Druid of the Claw here, yeah. and that is just gonna get sapped. So yeah, because we can see... Oh. Yeah. Oh, he, 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 goes for the, he goes for the trade. I like yeah, that. That's smart. Uh, yeah. we ha you have not seen a sap yet from Firebat, yeah, exactly. so that makes so. a lot of sense. And now you just hope that Martin... Oh, that's a good draw. Yeah. That's a really good draw. I think that... Deadly Poison is lethal, second Eviscerate is lethal, yeah. this is very likely to be game over. Yeah, even uh, SI, SI Agent yeah, is, SI is, is le lethal, lethal too. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So Firebat takes the first game. Yeah. And uh, Druid is gone for Martin. Yeah, uh, as a reminder to everyone at home, this is not Conquest as we're yeah. used to, this is Master Standing, standing we're playing. With one ban. With one ban even. Yeah. Yeah, so each... Each player brought four decks to the table, one got banned, both players actually banned a warrior in this yeah. case. And uh, now we see uh, Marty Creek's Druid is down and Firebaz gets to keep going with his uh, rogue. Yeah, and uh, Martin has Paladin and Rogue left. Yeah. What would you choose here? As uh, Paladin is a horrible matchup for uh, against Rogue, so I would yeah. I would just go for the mirror match. I yeah, think that I uh, that loss put Martin in a terrible spot for the rest of the series. Yeah, as we can see also that uh, Firebat has Mage, mm -hmm. so uh, that can be really problematic if it might be Freeze Mage as well. Yeah, it's but it now when uh, the read is gone. Yeah, lost in lost or standing Freeze Mage have been very very popular, and just after the patron nerf, the the deck just got very popular overall, yeah. and especially seeing how Firebat bans the warrior, I that might be a pretty clear indication that yeah. it is indeed a freeze mage that yeah. Firebat is bringing right. to the table. Oh, so Martin actually goes for playing the paladin. Yeah, so we'll see a paladin versus rogue here, and uh, that is, I know that preparing with Firebat he said that I want to bring a rogue because it's really really good against the paladin. Yeah, so yeah I expect exactly. almost everyone to bring. Yeah. Uh, and I was really, really close to bringing it myself. Uh, I actually brought it as my as my fifth deck for the tournament yeah. if I would advance to the top eight, just because I think and it's I a very I good metagame call. brought Rogue for the first round. Yeah, I, I because I one of the reasons it yeah. beats Paladin. Exactly. It you, you you really need a counter to Paladin here. Paladin yeah. is a deck that has a very high potential of getting a free win in this yeah. kind of format, and just having a hard counter. And I don't think it, it really gets has much a potential better. to sweep the whole. Match. Yeah, yeah. E exactly. I don't think it gets much better for a counter for Paladin than Rogue, so... Yeah, I agree. It's also... I know that Firebat has put some cards in there, some tech choices to be good against some other matchups that he really expects a lot, so... I in testing with him, his Rogue overperformed a lot. And yeah. uh, 
most most of my lineups I built went like really really good overall, but then it was Firebats Rogue, which was like the problem to get through. And yeah. eventually I just accepted that it's gonna be really hard to build a lineup that is good against most popular decks. Yeah. And also beats Rogue. Yeah, I agree. Oh, here we see. This is really beautiful for uh, Martin. Yeah, uh, actually it is. Firebat uses the dagger to just remove the Divine Shield and he just gets to put it right back on and also push damage with the Cog Hammer. As we can see as well, Martin has a really good uh, curve and that's why you want this Paladin. Yeah. It's really important. And just look at Firebat's hand. That is a whole lot of yeah. nothing. It is. It, like what it has is like coin prep sprint and that's really not what you want to do in this matchup, although it's not like he can do much else here. Yeah. If he finds a backstab actually, he, he gets to clear the board and have like nine car eight cards in hand. Yeah, that's pretty good. So backstab would be really, really good, good for him here. Oh, there's the backstab. <laughs> first card. Yeah. See, you know, it wants yeah, things like Phantom Nice is also really good. One of Paladin's power cards are must for the battle just in the deck and uh, Phantom Nice is a pretty efficient answer to that. Yeah. It is. Um, However, how yeah exactly. Uh, even though we see uh, uh, Firebat with the Phantom Knights and everything, just looking at the spell stream, Mister Challenger and Boom, yeah, I wouldn't really put the uh, Firebat as a favorite right here. Those big minions are really hard for Rogue to yeah, deal I with. Yeah, I agree. We do see that the uh, Firebat has um, a big game hunter in the hand, but yeah, it it it, it will be relevant later on yeah. to see. If if that it's boom, I don't know. It's also like a matchup where it could be a, a tempo BJH is not out of the question. Yeah, exactly. Yep, we see we see Firebat just keep cl clearing the minions, looking to establish something himself. Although he doesn't really have much to to establish, but he has uh, all the answers. Do, would you, you hit here for. as uh, Martin with your weapon? Um, I I I think I hold it. We are yeah. we are not causing these muscle battles anytime soon because yeah, we're exactly. going mysterious challenger into boom. So yeah. just holding it for an eventual minion. Yeah, I totally agree with that. To me. And now Mars in a great spot. He gets to kill those Asher Drake, which I'm pretty sure you want to do. Yeah. And also just develop a mysterious challenger, which yeah. is um I remember when Secret Paladin became a strong deck, uh, I was talking to Amnesia, my my new teammate about this matchup. And they said like, yeah, I really, really like Rogue in this matchup, except when they have him Mr. Chandler on six. So all I can do with that, that card really is to like sap it and yeah. it just comes down again and brings out more secrets. That's really not what I want. So Yeah, exactly. This would be like the one so super problematic. It, is, it doesn't kill it. That is interesting. Uh, I guess he feels yeah. like the noble sacrifice is gonna protect it, but yeah. he can't yeah. Hit that in I think we're gonna see a big amounter here. Yeah, this is actually great for uh, Firebat. He can he triggers the get down, avenge lands on the mysterious challenger, yeah. a big game hunter stat. And also uh, the yeah. Asher Drake survives. Yeah, the, the Asher Drake has not attacked yet, so that can finish off the nope the defender that comes back here. Yes. And leaves Martin with no board. I've got the beast in my side. Oh he goes for face. I, I, I agree with uh, that. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I actu agree. actually, r good play by him. He wants to trigger the competitive spirit here. Yeah. And also just push for damage, force Martin to do something defensive. Knife Eager is a solid, solid draw. I still think, actually, like, I don't think that Knife Juggler is out of the question here. Yeah, it's not. But uh, if you want to play Dr. Boom, you definitely have to kill the Asher Drake. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Because you can't deal with spell power, it's too much. I agree with you, but Martin just decides to go on the clean kill for yeah. Big Game Hunter. Well, the rogue is pretty low as well. Yeah, exactly. Just, have just push for a couple of damage there. Yeah. Um, how much is this? Yeah, th there's no way he can clear with uh, Blade Flurry here. I'm pretty sure we're going to see uh, fan knives here. Oh, uh, Phantom Knives and uh, uh, Viscerate. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, actually um, for Firebat, uh, Drake has to survive. Yeah, if the... If the Boombots kill Asher Drakes yeah, from there. Yeah, that's gonna be problematic. Yeah. But I guess that is a risk you can take. Is there any way to play that more safe? I don't think so, right? No, I don't think so. Oh, let's see what happens here. You could maybe trade in with the 4-4. Four four. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Whoa, that's, that's huge. That's huge. Yeah, that's... I think that's just a game. 
Yeah. Right there, yeah. Now, that's fi huge. No, now Firebat can't deal with the Dr. Boom in any way. Yeah, there's no way, actually. Also, he took two. Like, that Boom had hit for four. It was... So the other one could go phase for yeah. two. So it's just lethal. Wow. So he decides to... Let's... Yeah, uh, push, ma push for ma damage. Ma make Martin have one damage. If he doesn't, Martin is actually yeah, yeah. dead next turn. But we know that Martin has it in multiple ways, even. Yeah. He does. Wow. That's so a, a super risky pick for uh, Martin. Yeah, picking and it paid off. And it, paid rogue. Off. It, it did. Yeah. And let's see. So now Martin gets to keep going with Paladin, and Firebat's Rogue is out of the question. So Firebat has Druid and Mage left. Uh, out of those, uh, what decks do you, first of all, do you expect from Firebat, seeing those two classes? I would definitely expect uh, Mage now against yeah. the Paladin, yeah. because the Druid is not uh, pretty good at all against the uh, Paladin. Yeah, I, I agree. Especially Secret Paladin. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we expect this to be a Freeze Mage, right? Yeah, uh, that's, what I, that's what we have been expecting. Yeah, and we'll see here that it is indeed a yeah, Freeze Mage. It, it still plays the Pirate Blast, which is interesting. We have seen a, a few people cut that recently. Yeah. But uh, Firebat uh, decides to keep it in. Um, and uh, Martin... Well, I kind of like it uh, using the f still having the... Um, Pyro best now in yeah. this meta. Yeah, uh, it's good in mirror match too, right? So yeah, you, you I agree. And should expect a lot of freeze mages in this tournament. Martin keeps the low fib, but very heads up, knowing that this is uh, probably a freeze mage. Yeah. Do you like him keeping the low fib here? I think I do. Uh, uh, without coin. Uh, low fib into Challenger can be very, very powerful. Uh, this is not a matchup where early game is very powerful, so. I agree. I think I like keeping low fib. It's just like your. This is a really tough matchup, and Lofib is probably your single most powerful card against uh, Martin's deck. Yeah. Uh, Firebat's deck, I mean, sorry. As we can see here, it's also that Martin plays uh, Defender of Argus. Mm -hmm. Th that is interesting. We have not yeah. seen a lot of that in uh, Secret Paladin. What do you think about it? Um. I, th I think I like it. It makes sense. It gives you an edge to mirror matches. It's also good against the various aggressive decks that are more powerful in uh, Lost Hero Standing than they are in uh, Conquest because of the sweep potential. So it, it makes a lot of sense to play a Defender of Argus. Yeah, I, think. I, I like it. Also, one thing we didn't talk about that I like from Martin is how he went face there with uh, his Zombie Shao and his Light Justice instead of dealing with the, instead of dealing with the Mad Scientist. Knowing that in this matchup, a lot of the time, your opponent won't trigger your secrets because yes. Freeze Mage is not a very attack focused deck yeah. uh, and just kills the Mad Scientist via Noble Sacrifice and gets in for like two extra damage with a Zombie Shao. Yeah, I really like that choice of Morning. Here we see. Second Ice Berry picked up for uh, Firebat will give him a lot of time, but this board is getting really big yeah. and really scary. Um, Firebat's hand. Does look really clunky, to be honest. It it it, it does on one hand. Uh, on the other hand, you could al also say that uh, if it draws a Frost Nova, this hand yeah. is just great because yes. Frost Nova Doomsayer. There's are very few ways for uh, Paladin to deal with that, and also he yeah. still has the coin. So on turn six already, he can uh, cast this Flame Strike. That is true. Which is that likely is to clear the board, but this low fib here is huge. Yeah, it's gonna be huge. It guarantees that it gets in for, let's see how much damage this is. This turn it's 10 damage and next turn 15 damage. So that is, it guarantees 15 damage next turn. So that is basically yeah. a Pyroblast and Steorids for 5 mana at yeah. low fib, if you want to put that's it that way. That's a pretty good lot of Mad Scientist picked up for Firebat. Uh, he, uh, he Does might he really want to play it though? Because he's already, already played two... Uh, Oh, you're right, yeah, uh, he doesn't get a secret. Yeah, exactly. No, I, I like this play. He, he picks the low fib, setting up for the coin flame strike next turn, and yeah. also, like, Martin... Martin's board is big enough that he needs to, like, put yes. seven damage into this uh, Doomsayer because he doesn't want his board to get cleared. Yeah, I really like this play. Blessing of Kings, though. He, Martin knows that a flame strike is coming, yeah. and... Blessing of Kings is a pretty huge draw, uh, because whatever your Blessing of Kings will survive the flame strike. Yes. What w do you just do it on the low then? I think so. It's, yeah. it's like the most power, right? It yeah, I, I agree. 
I guess there's an argument for sending it on Zombie Shao so he doesn't gain the 5 life back, but I just want to get him for a 9. Yeah. I, I would do it in a lot, I'm pretty sure. And uh, probably just set up the Avenge too, to yes. push it even harder. Uh, this is like important for Martin if he uh, knows that. Oh, he doesn't know Zombie Shao. If he knows that Fireman still has the coin left. Oh, okay, yes, yeah, so, so he knows. Yeah, okay. Doesn't want to uh, give Firebat the 5 life. From yeah, I like this play as well. Yeah. Let's see, how much damage is this actually? So it's gonna be a Flame Strike. The Sombra Show is gonna, gonna drone for. It's gonna be one of Lethal next turn. Yeah, oh, wow. Uh, well, one from popping the block. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Lethal. <laughs> Oh, that's, oh. that's still huge. Well, yeah, when we know that it's that much damage, I actually just like the like the blessing of kings going on the zombie show. Yeah, I agree. Oh, that's oh incredible. that th that is that is actually a <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a proc of the block, but it's yeah, at but thirteen life it procs the block on, but you still do it. As you know as well, uh, now Firebat has already used his coin for the last turn. Yeah. So he can't use it for a coin Alexstrasza, for example. Exactly. If he needs to heal. Yeah, he needs to repeatedly freeze the zombie shout to actually deal with it if it goes up to a 13-9. Yeah. That's a pretty huge zombie shout. But do you really want to pop it at 13 though? I I mean, if I have the option of like... I mean, you pop it at 13, you can still pop it, right? Yes. So... I yeah. <laughs> it's, you should it, it's like the... It's it's as bad as a pop gets because yeah. you pop with the thirteen and also there's a zombie shout that pops it so like your exactly, opponent exactly. is ef efficiently at uh, eighteen, <laughs> but a pop is a pop. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna see a frostbolt on the zombie shout for sure. That yeah. no question. And then yeah, well, then we, we can develop two creatures. Yeah. Tyrion is such a powerful card here too. Just protects. Oh, oh god, that's a good draw. But I, I mean, this I turn, mean, yeah. The eight, we have eight mana. We have Tyrion. Yeah, hand. exactly. We have Tyrion. I, I don't think there's any matchup where turn eight Tyrion is <laughs> a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Tyrion is just too good here. Yep. And Firebat's hand is really, yeah, really clunky. Yeah. Oh. oh. Well. Oh wait, can Firebat set this up in any way, shape, or form? He can. Uh, the problem is that one of his ice blocks are popped already, so yeah. he could set up the set up the second ice block, just Kono Cold. Uh, then next turn he Alex us and gets popped, but then he needs lethal, he can't use yeah. that turn to Pyroblast. Exactly. Yeah, Firebat definitely needs to find something good here. Blood Mage is not bad. It it's not bad, it's not bad, it's something. Oh, Martin goes straight for the Consecration. Yeah, I kind of like it though. I like it. Yeah. yeah. Ar oh, double, oh. A double intellect picked up. But it's just not very... Oh, for oh now it's yeah. good. Now, no, now double intellect good. is really Now I really good. like it more. And also, like, he didn't need to draw the Frost Nova there. Double intellect, he has not used that Frost Nova yet. It's just very likely to find a Frost yeah, Nova yeah, exactly. from one of those two. Yeah, we'll see. He has one more Doomsayer left, right? Yeah, he does. Okay. Well, and, th and there's another Frost Nova. Double Nova is just... Now I think that Fire Batman might actually be a favorite to win this. Yeah. Because he can just stall this with the Double Nova. Next turn he can Antonidas Nova. And yeah. the, the turn following that he can Alex Strauss and still not be popped. He could also go for Emperor. Oh, Nova. yeah. Em Emperor Nova. And have it's like more, more options for his Alex Strauss yeah. turn. Yeah, there are like re really good lines for Firebat to take here. Yeah. And this is like one of the reasons why why this is such a horrible matchup for Paladin. Yeah, we saw exactly. Martin having everything he wanted in the early game. He had yeah. turn 5 low fib, he popped the Firebat really early, he could play around like Flame Strike, got to melee down a Doomsayer. You know, everything was going his way. Yeah. And still, it's just like. And he still have pretty good draws. Mm. It, 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 it's so funny because we say that like Firebat is a huge favorite and Martin is sitting with 23 power on board. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, would you play the Knife Yager here before? I, I, 
I'm not sure. Like you're a little bit afraid of a sweeper here, but then again, you still get left yeah. with a two drop, a Ashbringer. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, guess exactly. it's just a little bit too greedy to play the knife juggler here. You know, there's like double blister left in the uh, fire bat stack, yeah. and it's not like you're gonna juggle him down to zero because he's a ten. And here comes the Archmage from Snow. Um, Competitive Spirit goes off, but that doesn't do much against our Frozen really gonna help him. Um, and I think that just Alex Strassing, yeah, next turn uh, fire back against Alex Strauss and Martin. If yeah. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. Martin is locked down this turn. He can't really do anything relevant. Yeah, he can't really do anything. Uh, next turn, fire back against Alex Strauss and Martin. Martin will be able to clear the board and pop the block, but... It's not like Paladin has any way of healing except maybe the one true silver yeah. champion that's on this play. And if but if, if he would oh, oh yeah, yeah, so if yeah. he would play, does does he have lethal after that then? No, so the thing is uh, what Firebat just does is Alex Strauss's Martin and Ice Lance's his face. Oh. So even if there's a true silver champ uh, he gets a fireball from that Ice Lance. <laughs> yes, that's true. Uh, and no which, which sets up lethal. Really well played by Fireman. Yeah, this, this is a really good play. Plays around everything from yeah. uh, Martin. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. M Martin knows what's coming here. Yeah. He has not seen a Frostbolt yet, and you know about the double fireball from the Antonidas, so... Yeah. He's wow. still gonna try to find a way, though. Yeah. Oh, actually, he can just hope for the best. It is one out. He has one out. There's yeah. a pilot shredder on board, and Vitality Totem is a two drop that could come out. That is true. That, that is would true. actually uh, that would actually be really really good here. Although there's still is a Blizzard Fireball turn from Fireball. Yeah. No Vitality Totem. That's not the Vital. Uh, that's not the Vitality Totem we were looking for. No. Your one one recruits can now target minions. Yeah. What a wonderful world we live in. So Firebat is gonna take this. Yeah. Go two one. Yeah. And Martin Creek has Rogue left. Yeah. And that's not a good matchup for Martin. It's a it it's, it's a winnable one. It's a winnable definitely. But uh, yeah, it's definitely not favored. It, it it's also like one of those matchups, Rogue versus uh, Freeze Mage, where both players need to know what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, I think that Firebat, we talked a little bit about it, he prefers the fatigue route yes. of uh, Tempo Mage to strain because the rogue is going to draw so many cards, it's so dependent on the sprints and on the Asher Drake yeah. that it's eventually just going to draw his whole deck way before Firebat draws his. And if he uses like Fireballs, the Wily Teachers, Frostballs, the Asher Drakes, you know, and, and uses Sweepers efficiently. Yeah, I agree. It's actually going to be interesting to see uh, Martin's Rogue here, how much he has prepared for uh, playing against Freeze Mage because he didn't ban it. Yeah, yeah, th that's, that's true. We yeah. saw him ban Warrior, so it's going to be an inter yeah, interesting one. He might one. actually play uh, double healbot or uh, at least one healbot in the... Yeah, we, we, s we see a, a throwing a Farseer to start it off. That's yeah. like one card that is pretty valuable in the matchup po uh, to heal post Alex Rasa. Also, just every threat you can uh, ha you have in this matchup is very relevant yeah definitely in this matchup I li as, as a rogue like you don't really have to play more than one threat at a time because you don't want to be uh, vulnerable to the sweet burst of freeze mage yeah. so every single extra threat is super super relevant i agree well speaking of threats that's not something we see in martin's hand no. he has a lot of spells that he can't really use uh, something like a sprint would be pretty good. And in the other hand, in Firebat's uh, hand, we see a lot of fresh actually. Yeah, that's we see an emperor in coin and an archmage. Uh, we s we said that this matchup, like the the freeze mage, could uh, take the road to fatigue, but this looks very much like a hand that just kills people. Yeah. Oh, you can actually go for a big man cleave here. Or decent. Uh, it, it's a 6-6-1 six, six cleave, which yeah. is... But it's pretty good. It's I a threat, at least. I prefer to have it as an 8-8 eight eight because of Fireball. Yeah. Like, s But we might see him do it just as a 6-6 six six here. It, it's not like he has a lot to work with either yeah. way. Although, if I, if I can still wait for it, just so... You know that there's still a coin in the hand, too, of, uh, of Firebat, so... 
Just yeah. making a 6 6 1 cleave is very vulnerable to a lot of things. Yeah, for, for example, coin fireball is one thing. Yeah. So, I don't think I would go for it, but it's definitely a decision you will think about a lot before yeah. passing the turn here. Yeah. If I know Martin right, he might actually just do it. Yeah, um, we both know Martin. He's, yeah. he's definitely that type of guy that makes a 6 6 1 cleave yeah. here. We'll see if he can be patient enough. Uh, if he attacks here, though, I don't think he's gonna do it. Yeah, uh, same. Yeah. This attack indicates that he is just gonna dagger yeah. up. It's way too risky to actually play it. Good call by Martin. Yeah, I like it. I mean, we know there's not a fireball in a uh, fireball's hand, but Martin doesn't know that. Yeah. So we can pick something up to make. Oh, that's. Now this looks a lot yeah. better, doesn't it? does so, so do you do it now yeah i yeah. I, I definitely do it's uh, you make an 8 8 edwin that doesn't like to fireball and uh, it's just like the only answer that fire can really have to that at that point mm. is to kill it over several turns or frost nova doomsayer yeah i totally agree and even against frost nova doomsayer you still have the sap yeah granted that he uses either the blade fury or the eviscerate to clear the yeah. minions I would prefer the eviscerate though. Uh, it, it's or a close call. Yeah, I, I, yeah, actually, I, actually, I actually think I like the flurry here. Yeah. Thinking about it, yeah, I think I actually like the flurry m more as well here. Yeah. Eviscerate does like good burst damage when yeah. you don't have a board and stuff. Yeah. And a flurry doesn't really get a lot better than this if it's not for burst later on. Yeah. The Brotherhood oh. That was a. He chose to make it a 6 6 instead of an 8 8. That is a very interesting that call by Martin. Yeah, that's very interesting. I gotta have to ask him about that, why he wanted to make it a 6 6. I, I mean, normally you make it a 6 6 to play around the cards like Big Game Hunter, yeah. but I don't Do you think, think he was scared of him actually playing Big Game Hunter because he played Big Game Hunter in uh, Rogue? Yeah, I don't know. That's a. That might. Maybe. Yeah. See if I better go for Doomsayer here. Uh, but still making that play, uh, you kind of have to make it an 8-8 instead, yeah. I think. You, you, you definitely know there's fireballs in, yes. in, in fire bats, like, you know. Choose to go for the sap and yeah. develop the SI. This is risky if there's a Frost Nova in fire bats hand, yeah, but exactly. seeing how we use the ice ones, uh, Doomsayer that quickly there, you maybe even expect that there's not yeah. a Frost Nova oh. in fire bats. Speaking of it. Oh, oh wow. Christ, this is. That was a this the best harsh. pickup Firebat could have, and yeah. Martin can't clear it, which is. And this is gonna spiral out of control. Martin yeah. can't kill the Doomsayer. It's gonna go off. It's gonna kill he a 9 9 out of like power on Martin Creek's yes. board. And not only that, it's gonna be followed up by Emperor Tarza. Yeah, and he can't play the teacher now either. Yeah. The only thing I can do is just hero power up. And yeah. No, that was a really good draw. Yeah, that 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 Frost Nova. I still think that Firebat was a favorite to win the game. Yes, but I, uh, I agree. That just if Martin comes back from this, I will be very very impressed. <laughs> Me too. I think we'll see the quickest turn we've ever seen yeah. from Firebat here. Let's see. Yep, yeah. there we go. Arctic Greek has a clear. Not a very enjoyable clear with eating use the eviscerate and the dagger, but, but you have to do it. Yeah, ex exactly. I I don't know how many people I don't know how high percent uh, of there is to win a game where a freeze mage got two emperor activations. Yeah, exactly. so it's not very it's way high. Too, it's way too much. Firebat just goes immediately for the Archmage Agonitis. He sees that Martin has two cards in hand, very yeah. very low on answers, just force like him to deal with all of this. Yeah, I, I, I like I it too, a lot. Yeah, I really like it. And he picks up some good ones. It's not great, but... Oh. That's mm. one way to deal with it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You don't want to take too much face damage here, so... I don't know. I'm... I'm I think you may have to. It depends where yeah. the Tinker Royal lands, but. 
you know that there's two, at least two fireballs in Firebat's hand, and he has not used any burn except on Ice Lance this game. Oh. So the burst potential is pretty big. Do you trade with the 6 5 here? I, can't, I think you have to because you saw that he draws so many fireballs from there. Yeah. yeah. You don't really have a choice. Uh, you just do this and hope uh, hope to draw a sprint next yeah. turn, and that's that's the way you win the game. Although you're still not a yeah. favorite to win the game. That that's a way to come back at least. Yeah. So he he he's trying to decide if he wants to attack with his dagger or not. Decides to hold it off for one turn. Firebat is well. Hmm, he has actually has a lot of cards in hand, so he might not see this Acolyte of Pain come out. But he can Acolyte of Pain, Mad Scientist, and just do something like a Blizzard if he wants to. He can also set up this barrier, Acolyte, Scientist, and ping the Acolyte. Yes. I like this play. Yeah. The sequencing, debatable, but maybe he just decides to kill a 1 1 here, actually. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Okay. And good sequencing by Firebat. He's usually not the guy that screws up, so like. Sequencing is a very yeah. technically tight player. I agree, and as you can see, Martin draws a deadly poison. That's uh, pretty much dead draw. Yeah, the, he he needs a sprint. It's uh, to keep up with uh, the card Actually, draw. Might have been draw. something as well. To yeah, draw. yeah, exactly. He has a lot of outs. De yeah. Definitely in this spot, but he just can't seem to find it. Yeah. Second barrier popped. Firebats again a very healthy 32 life. Yes. Also with a heal button in hand. Yeah. So efficiently at 40. Yeah. That's pretty strong. Yeah. Uh, and the card draw, he has all he needs. He just needs to pick up s something. Actually, just a frost bolt and, uh, and get a couple of pings in. Yeah. Ma Martin is just dead. Yep, uh, we see the heal. I'm, I'm He's just playing it safe here. I'm I really like. su surprised that we don't see him go for phase. It's actually yeah. really relevant to like if if there's no heal button or no force here, it's just like you can threaten lethal yeah. w when you're like very very safe. Like you will, it's not like a risk attack to the face. It's not yeah. like you will die, yeah, and exactly. it's one way to threaten lethal. So I think I like it from Fireman to hit face there, but yeah, you can also see I, I it just playing it super super safe. Yeah. Second Iceland picked up, so now with a frost bolt, this is over two, over the course of two turns, is lethal. Yes. And I would actually like to see him go face here. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, he might just play a doomsayer and fireball ping in face. What do you think yeah, about yeah, that? Yeah, something like that. It's still hedging against something like healbot. Yeah. He Fire is in a commanding spot that he can. Definitely play around the healbot. Yeah. Knowing that there's like one card, that preparation has said and has been sitting in Martin's hand forever. Yeah. And uh, like, sure, it might be a prep, but it can also oh. very likely. And this be is really, healbot. really awkward as well because now we get Sasha Drake to draw a card, but it's a doomsday on his board. Yeah. And he, he can't kill it off. He might be able to kill it off with the card he draws. Yeah. But that's if if he whiffs and draws a violet hit, for example, that's terrible. Yeah. But is it a risk you want to take? I, 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 I think, think I would like to, to take that. I think you would like to take to. that risk, but Martin declines to. Just, it's like, yeah, that can die. You, you, you're kind of desperate right now, so. Yeah. Uh, I think you kind of have to. I would like to see a fireball now. Yeah. Yeah. Same. There we go. Smork. <laughs> <laughs> you finally find well, a way. Now, now we actually. Firebat, if Martin paid close attention there, Firebat played the one Firebat that was not uh, from Archmage and yeah. Tonight. Uh, so if Martin Creek paid attention, he knows there is still double Fireball. And there's the Healbot. And there's the Healbot, but there's also a Frostbolt picked up from Firebat. Yes. Uh, so it's not Lethal this turn, but. Oh, oh wait. There's a Thanos. So. It's not Lethal this turn, but it's gonna be over two turns. And as Firebat, you saw Healbot, you saw Farseer, yeah. you do not expect more healing. You you know there's a low fib, but it doesn't matter because you have an ice block up. Yeah. I think you just go for it. Yeah, you should just go for it. 
special now when you see the hillbill as well. Yeah. I don't think you expect uh, him to play another hillbot in the deck. Absolutely, uh, absolutely not. And even yeah. if he does, you are still just a pyroblast away from winning. Yeah, exactly. That's gonna Asher Drake. Draw the low fib. But that doesn't really help. Him. It's gonna stall the game a little bit more. Uh, not really. Oh, ac actually not though. No, I I he he's just, just dead. <laughs> yeah, he's just dead. Comes the fireball created by Archmage Antonidas. It's gonna, it's gonna put Firebat so to a three one yeah. victory. I guess. Firebat, Martin Firebat takes the series. Very exciting stuff. I think uh, very very tight play from Firebat. Also, Martin did some really close calls that yeah. paid off for him. Really impressive play overall and like a good series. I think. Yeah, I like it. Uh, Do we know uh, who more plays in the group? Um, I. Notice purple is in the group, but I don't yeah. remember the fourth player actually. Okay. Uh, oh, it's a pretty hard group. Yeah, it's 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 one of the one of the considered group groups of deaths. Uh, yeah. In the I think it's like three groups that are considered to be really really hard in this yeah. tournament, and Group A is definitely one of them. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Let's see, two two former t two former teammates, purple and firebat, while it out. To be Martin Creek from SK Gaming. Don't remember the fourth guy. Maybe someone can remind us of that, but. Mm. I rem just those three players alone make the yeah, uh, group exactly. really, really tough. And uh, we also saw uh, Firebat's strategy work out. He banned a warrior He uh, and kind of tried to get his freeze mage through, and it worked really, really well for yeah. him. Uh, with also just Firebat being one of the best freeze mage players in the world, I would yeah. say, seeing super, super tight play <laughs> from him overall. I agree. Yeah, it was a good series. Absolutely. So we'll see what happens next. We're yeah. not really sure waiting for word from production to tell yeah. us that. But I don't know that. Yes. Nope. Yeah, we're we're, we're going to go to a short break yeah, here. We're going to go to uh, a short break. Until next match. Uh, and we m might get in some new cards for the next one or... Maybe it's me and Freak again. Who knows? Yeah, we we're, we're going to figure it out in the break. Until then, later, guys. Later.